All right, guys, now we're gonna move on to the arm bar from full guard, which is one of my favorite techniques to hit from this position. So starting in my full guard, I wanna pick the side that I want to attack. In this case, I'm going towards my left side, so I'm gonna be attacking Alex's right arm. Um, once again, we're going to have to come up with a way to break his posture down, bring his posture towards us, and also looking to expose the target that we want to attack. The way that I like to do this, and there's many different ways, I like to go with a double cat's paw grip, so my thumb enters at the sleeve, rolling the fingers, or rolling the sleeve rather, over my fingers. Uh, and now I'm gonna do an upright row, pulling across towards my opposite shoulder. As I do that, the power source is gonna be my legs, doing a reverse crunch, bringing Alec towards me. So as we come up, now you see I pulled his arm across towards the opposite side. When we do this now, the, side, the arm on the side that, um, that I pulled his arm towards is gonna to release, and now I extend over top of his triceps and look to establish my grip. I'm not grabbing material, I'm just wrapping my fingers. And normally you'll see there's a, a seam on his triceps on the gi, and that's kind of my reference point for where I like to grab. Once I do this, I'm not hugging down by doing a bicep curl. There's still a lot of space over at the side when I do that. Instead, I'm gonna drop my elbow, closing it off at my rib cage, creating a vine-like motion on the target that I want to attack. Now that I picked the side that I want to attack towards, now it's time to start looking at posture control. We've isolated the target, we're moving on to posture control. So that's gonna be the shoulder onto the opposite side. What I'm gonna do is my knee on that side is gonna do a diagonal crunch coming in the other direction which starts to cheat the angle. And now my free hand reaches over, I create a meat hook right over top of your shoulder, and then again, doing a row, pulling down my elbow towards my rib cage in order to maintain control of the posture. Now this won't last forever, we need to move quickly after this point, but uh, temporarily, we've isolated the target and we've controlled the posture. So now it's moving on to creating our angle. What I'm gonna look to do here is my foot on the same side of the uh, arm that I'm attacking, I open my guard and my foot goes right into the hip, planted there. My other leg now, the leg on the, the side uh, that I'm controlling the posture, I'm gonna kick up towards me, I do an exterior rotation, and then I look to bite down the back. As I do that, uh, there's also gonna be a slight inward pendulum motion, and I'm gonna rotate my head towards his hand at the end of that lever on the armbar that I'm trying to attack. So as I bite down, my heel is gonna go ahead and bite down hard, trying to almost put it right into his shoulder on the far side. This is now serving as posture control. The last part to this, as far as my, my legs go, is I'm gonna open my hip so the foot that is on the hip is gonna remove contact. I'm gonna open my hip so that I clear Alex's head, and now I pendulum back in tight. The last part of this that's often overlooked is the space between his shoulder and my leg. I wanna close that off as tight as I can. Um, a lot of times people will start biting down here. That's not isolating the target as much as we can. So I'm gonna do an interior rotation of my hip, then I engage my hamstring. Notice I don't try to just bite down onto his head and close off. I like to take the slack out of the leg so that I can really get a nice bite there on the back of the head and control the posture. And now we can move on to finishing the arm bar. My hand that's on the triceps is gonna slide down to the wrist, making sure that his thumb's pointed up and I stack my other hand on top. My knees are pinched tight together and my feet are, the soles of my shoes are pointed down towards the floor. The last thing I look to do is I look to bridge up. I lift my tailbone in order to get the submission, creating a hyperextension onto the elbow. Let's go ahead and show from this side, give you guys another angle. So we're starting in the full guard position, picking the side that we want to attack. I'm gonna go ahead and get my double cat's paw grip I do an upright row and at the same time a reverse crutch, pulling the arm over top. Now, the uh, arm on the opposite side goes over top of the triceps, I get a nice clamp, and then I look to close my elbow off. The, I need to control posture with my free hand now, so I do another diagonal crunch. To cheat my angle, my hand comes up, I put my meat hook towards the shoulder, and now I do a row to control, uh, control posture. Now we're isolating the target, and we're controlling the posture, it's time to move on to creating our angle. On the same side I'm attacking, I open my guard and I put my foot right to the hip. My knee is gonna stay tight towards the body. My other leg is gonna kick up first. Now I do an exterior rotation of my hip and I'm gonna pendulum inward. As I pendulum, my head rotates so that I have a straight angle to look to finish this armbar. The foot that's in the hip 
is gonna open up. The leg opens, I come over top of the head, and now I do an interior rotation, really clamping that knee tight towards the shoulder. Um, again, I don't like to bite down right away. I like to take the slack out of the leg. The way I do that is I do a tight hamstring curl with my other leg. So the leg in the armpit curls down, I extend out, and now I've taken all the slack out of that leg. It's nice and tight here. From here, I slide from the triceps down towards the wrist, elbows are tight, and now I'm gonna lift my hips <clears throat> towards the legs. So that's the arm bar from full guard. 